What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Hidden Heights Farm. So it is another wonderful, beautiful day. We're gonna take advantage of it. We're gonna go do our chores here on the farm, check our waters, feed all the animals, and then we're gonna head down to the lake property. If you guys caught the last video, we got some fishing to do. We are going to go down to the old abandoned property and that old well, that old over a hundred year old well, however old it is, we're gonna drop a magnet down. I've got a very high powered magnet we're gonna drop down that well and see what we can't find. So I'm gonna show you something. I told you guys about this before. Now this is like a dual purpose feeder. So we're feeding the wild birds. Wild birds come and they eat their seed. They drop the seed down and uh, the chickens pick up what the wild birds don't eat. And then you can see we got some little chicks back there. Betty's little chicks are hanging around. I don't know where the other ones went or where Betty went. But the wild birds keep coming around, eating the seeds, they drop it down, and the chickens, that's their favorite place to hang out now. So, anyways, so, um, yeah, the one thing, I am I told you guys I'm fixing to do a video. It might be the next video I do, I don't know yet, so stay tuned. But uh, the predators have been lurking around. We've been getting some um, nights. It's been, we got like a cold front that came in, and it seems like this happens every year, but this is the earliest it's ever happened with the predators. Um, We've been getting some nights like in the low 50s, which is, it's not rare, but it's uncommon for this area this early in the year. Usually it's like late October when we start getting these temperatures. Anyways, they're already coming in. So that cold front and that cold spell is making the predators go on the hunt a lot more. I don't know if they've got uh, like the coyotes, for instance. I don't know if they've got a den full of uh, young pups that they're trying to take care of or what, and this cold weather makes them hungrier maybe, or they're just starting to uh, try to fatten up because the cold is hitting already. And now that I said that, the other day down at the lake property, I got something else I wanna show you when we get to lake property. Um, anyways, I was down there brush hogging and uh, the squirrels were going crazy, eating the pecans and digging holes and burying pecans. I think mother nature and wildlife is trying to tell us that we might have a pretty bad winter this year. I don't know, we'll have to wait and see, you just never know. So anyways, I got a, I got a stranger coming over here. What do you know, Mr. Smeagol? What are you doing, buddy? Huh? You went, hey, you went hunting this morning and he brought back a uh, fresh mouse and then he let it go. Why did you do that, Smeagol? Huh? Was you just playing with it? Hey. Why did you let the mouse go? He brought it back to the front door and uh, he was trying to brag to his mom, come and see what I caught. And she went out there to look. And by the time she got out there, he already let it go. And uh, it was gone. You are filthy. You've been taking a dust bath or what? Huh? Look at his back. Look how dirty this cat is. You're goofy. Are you tired? Huh? Why do you keep yawning so much? Huh? All right. Anyhow, we got a show to get on with. So. Let's grab some food. Let's get our feeding done because I'm eager to get down there. I want to seed. There might not be nothing, but um, just in case there is, we're going to film it because how cool would that be to go down to a, 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 uh, a old 100 plus year old water well, drop a magnet down there. Might find a knife. We might find um, a gun. Who knows? Um, you know, the Civil, Civil War actually had bought battles. Can't talk. Battles fought not too far from here. And uh, there was a, a big presence of the Union and Confederate soldiers in this area. And old homesteads and plantation houses, uh, places like that along the river and the creek and the railroad. Um, the soldiers would use that a lot and travel that a lot. And uh, sometimes they'd take over the homesteads and stuff and live off their farm for a while while they were traveling and stuff. And you never know, they may have hid something down in that well. So can't wait to find out. I'm coming. Where's all your friends at? There's usually a whole mob of you girls. Yeah, there's usually a whole mob of you girls. Oh goodness, we're gonna have to get the feed bin filled back up soon. We still haven't got our hay yet, even though uh, we pretty much ordered it. We're just waiting to uh, get it delivered. We might need it sooner than uh, expected this year. What you goats doing, huh? Y'all being good today? Nobody trying to get out? Nobody's getting their head stuck or nothing? Huh? What are you doing, girl? Come on. 
Cora, are you being lazy? You and Leesky just being lazy today? Huh? Oh, Leesky's yelling at me. Hey, hey. This goat was yelling at me. Wait your turn. We gotta feed the dogs first. Mr. Russ! Mr. Russell, the big dog! Oh, Leesky, what are you doing? You're a big dog too, I know. Cora, are you okay? You just laying around? I don't blame you. It's a beautiful day. The temperatures are nice. Mr. Russell's a good puppy. He's not too hyper like most puppies and jumping all over us. Nope, he's very, very nice and he has manners. Yeah, he waits his turn to eat. Actually, he always eats first because he's the first one up here, so. Just the way it is. There you go, Mr. Russell. I'll get your egg. Watch out, let me, let me feed your mama. Here, watch out, move over. All right. And last but not least, I don't know why I say this is their bowl and so-and-so's bowl or anything like that because uh, they all take turns eating out of each one, it don't really matter. There you go, fresh egg for everybody, fresh. Farm fresh eggs right off the farm, right out of the chickens, you know what. Come on. There's my girl. There's old girl. But yeah. Good girl. Yeah. Good girl. There's Mr. Leesky. Here he comes. What are you doing, man? You guys enjoying this nice cool day, huh? It's almost fall time. Oh yeah, that's my favorite time of the year too. Mine too, buddy. Mine too. What are you doing? I didn't step on your foot. You're you're the one laying on me. You're about to knock me over. Look at this big baby. Look at this big baby. All right, get up there and eat. See, he listens very well. Don't start that. I'll spread your bowls out. All right, let's get this. Uh, let's get these goats fed. I know they're going to be in this alleyway. I got to take time and get this fixed i've just been busy doing all kinds of stuff and this is on the back of my mind usually but it's a pain when they crawl under this feed bunk see that one just like i'm just gonna go out here okay you go out there you're not gonna get no food the food's in here goofball all right there you go okay Uh, where's Sonny? Okay, Sonny, you guys know Sonny is uh, one of the big guys now. He's over there in line eating at the end of the row. He's over there eating his vittles so he can grow even bigger. He's, a, he's the youngest one, but here's the deal. If, in case you guys uh, are new to the channel and you're wondering, why do we raise these goats? Well, they're meat goats. We raise them uh, primarily to keep our pasture eaten down, and then uh, we butcher a few of them. I know some of you don't like to hear that. And then we sell most of their kids that goes to, uh, they go to other farms for whatever purposes. And if you guys are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe because here in about less than two months, we are going to be having a bunch of baby goats on the ground. So if you guys like little cute baby goats jumping around, we'll be putting them in videos. It's always nice to see what kind of colors and who has twins, who has triplets, all that type of stuff. We got Mr. Smeagol over here. He's making sure I'm doing my chores right. You hear this crunching going on? That's some serious eating. All right, Smeagol, let's go get Mojo fed and everybody out front so we can head down to the lake, buddy. All right, so uh, donkeys are uh, over there in the shade. They're over there in the shade grazing around on some grass. You can't even see them. And then you got Miss Ruby over there on the brush pile. You guys see her right there in the center of the screen. That's your brush pile, Ruby? Yeah, you like it, don't you? Oh, Joe, come on, buddy. <whistles> come on. You ready to come eat, bud? Oh, I guess, let me get up and stretch my bones. Oh, uh, I think I can come eat, there's no no predators roaming right this instant, so I can take a little break to come eat. I try to watch everybody. Come on, Mom, let's go eat. You can tell your story as we go. He, 
He just got up and he keeps yawning. Are you, uh, what are you doing? Are you strutting? Huh? Are you showing them your Great Pyrenees strut or what are you doing? You're going the wrong way, buddy. Hey, this ain't backwards day. Let's go this way. Mojo, come on, let's go eat. Mo, where are you going, bud? He never goes that way. Oh, I just got to come over here and mark this territory in case a coyote runs in the backyard while I'm not watching. I got to watch over all my little buddies too. All right, come on. You can relieve yourself over here. Come on, let's go. Mojo, come on, Mojo. Come on, buddy. Come on, what's, why are you being so slow? Did you just wake up from a nap? So here's the deal. I'll talk more about this in the next video, but Mojo and the dogs have been super busy. There's a reason why. So uh, he's, been, he's been getting his naps when I'm home. Come on, good boy. Anyways, we'll, we'll, we'll uh, touch up more on that, hopefully in the next video. So, uh, look at these chickens. Where, you guys didn't follow me to the uh, feed bin like every other time. And where's Betty and her chicks? I haven't seen them. I only seen the one chick over at the bird feeder. I don't know what's going on. That's not a good sign. The, um, you guys seen the, the chicks, the three new chicks that we had over here in the last video. Mama had them out in the yard this morning and they are some little little chicks they're brand new but they have already been traveling everywhere with mama and i don't see them either but i know i just seen them earlier here you go ghost ghost makes me pay the toll you guys know the old toll keeper Come on, I need to write a new book about you, but we can't call it Billy Goat's Gruff. What would we call it? Huh? What would we call the book? All right, that's good. Geese, have you guys seen Betty? You guys are the local snitches. Yeah, they're the local snitches. Come on. Come on, sir. You coming? Oh, I guess. Excuse me. Come on, Mojo. Now, Ghost, you be patient. I've been feeding you out of my hand. Get out of here. There you go. There you go, Mr. Mojo. Here goes, turkeys. Oh, Tom just said, or not Tom, whatever his name is. Walt just said, uh, thank you. I threw that food down. He says, thank you. Oh, I hear the chicks. Oh, there they are. There's the three little chicks. Oh, she just got mad at that goat for getting too close. Yeah, and y'all about got stepped on. Yeah, emu. Emus are bound and determined to uh, step on those chicks. If they just eat and quit running around chasing each other like teenagers. Hey, you all go over there. Quit running around the little chicks. Look, there they go again. Mama, you better just take your uh, chicks away. All right, so uh, enough gabbing here. We'll uh, I'll go check the, their water, collect the eggs, and then we'll head down to the lake property. Uh, Mojo, you think there's anything in that old whale? I don't know. I wasn't here around when that thing was made, or I've never even been down there. How would I know? Well, that's a good point. So anyways, guys, let me, uh, let me finish up here. Got to check a few things, fill up some waters, collect the eggs, and then we'll head down, grab the magnet, and just see if we can't find anything. Now the geese are tattling on somebody. Yeah, now look who's getting along over a nice little dinner date. Is that all it took for you guys to get along? At least you're not uh, chasing and fighting each other, right? Okay. Fast forward, we are down here at the lake property. That was a quick ride for you guys, right? Got the magnet, and uh, I'm gonna, let me open this up and show you guys. So if you guys are new to magnet fishing, uh, this has been something that's been going on for quite a long time now on YouTube. I've been watching uh, people magnet fish for quite a while, and it's pretty cool. Now this thing is in a case, and look, at the, watch this. 
this is a very strong magnet and I kind of talked about prior experiences in uh, I think my last video where I actually used this magnet because I lost a $200 knife right here in this lake not in this area but a different area oh, God, this. this is the magnet and uh, this dude is a strong magnet I mean it's That's strong. Uh, why'd I do that? Sometimes I don't think very good. Uh, okay, so if there's anything in this old well, I think we're fixing to find out. Okay, so this thing has like uh, maybe a hundred foot rope on it. I'm not really sure, maybe 50 foot. And like I said, this old well, I guess I can talk while we're uh, walking down here. This old well is uh, well over a hundred years old. It is a hand dug well. And the weird thing about it is it's not even maybe a hundred yards from where a spring creek is. So I don't know why somebody would want to dig a well right this close to a uh, water source already a very clean um, spring fed water source but this well guys is uh the thing about it is it's 21 foot of water level about a month ago when i came down here and measured it and then it was about another 15 foot to the top so like 36 foot total from the ground level to the bottom of the well that somebody hand dug and uh, back then, over 100 years ago, digging stuff like this, they didn't have, well, maybe the technology was there for some things, but people around here did not have that kind of equipment or tools to get that done. So it was elbow grease, blood, sweat, and tears. And here we are. So one thing about this well is, I told you guys there is a date on this lid. But as you can see, this lid was put on this well way after this thing was dug in the ground. Last time there was a wasp nest in here. So if you guys hear me running, screaming like a little girl and running, that's why. Okay, so uh, I didn't show this last time very well, but this says April 22nd, 1940. I can actually see it on camera better than I can see it with my own eyes somehow. So anyways, you can uh, clearly see this was like a precasted lid uh, back then. Pretty much everybody had wells, water wells. So they would put one of these covers on there. And then they'd put one of those little four post uh, pump siphon, uh, well siphons. I don't know what you call them on here. But the thing is, we don't know how old this well is. But we know it's at least 100 years old. And um, let's, here is... Uh, here we go. Let's, uh, I wish I could show you guys down in there a little bit better. You can kind of see. Let me get this spider web out of the way. Okay. Before I drop this down in there, let me see if I can show you guys. There you go. You can kind of see the walls. It's all lined with limestone rocks. All right. I'm not going to let go of this camera because I know about the time I do, I'll drop it. So here we go. Of course, it's going to be all tangled up. All right, let me set this camera up real quick. Well, now I can't uh, let go of the rope. Let me set this camera up over here somewhere. Okay. I think that'll, I think that'll work. Okay, I think we hit bottom. Okay, we are on the bottom. And it don't feel like rock, it feels like it's uh, maybe muddy. I'm not sure. All 
Okay, don't look like we got nothing the first time. Some kind of magnetic rock. Hmm. Okay, nothing yet. Let's try a different area. And like I said, this thing is probably like three foot in uh, diameter. It's pretty big. It's about the same size as this lid is. Well, it felt like I felt like I had some weight on there for a second. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know, it felt like it was pulling towards uh, that side. And nothing. We'll give it one more try. Kind of smells like sulfur, sulfur water. All right, so, uh, well, we didn't find any treasures in the well, but uh, it's pretty cool anyways. So I told you guys I wanted to come down here and do the magnet fishing first to make sure there wasn't nothing down in there because the next step we're going to do is we're gonna remove this cover. I think we're gonna remove this cover. And uh, my granddad sent uh, home my my granddad lives in Arkansas my parents went and uh, visited him a couple weeks ago and he sent home a pump that I'm going to try to rig up I'm not sure if it works or not but we're going to try it out I got to put an electrical plug and stuff on it but anyways he sent that home with them to, for me to try out down here on this well to see if uh, we can pump it out um, a lot of the viewers you guys wanted me to pump it out and see if it uh how fast it takes to fill back up with water or what is at the bottom of it and i thought that was a wonderful idea i was just trying to find a pump that would work and uh if this pump will work we'll have to rig some hose up on it and then we'll set it up down here and uh, we'll try to pump it out so make sure you subscribe to the channel and uh, that'll be coming up in one of the next few videos i don't know when we'll get a chance to do that just yet but while i'm out here i want to show you guys Look at this, I got this thing brush hogged all the way around now. It is brush hogged all the way. And uh, the Kubota, I brought it down here, the old Kubota L3300. Uh, you guys know I was trying to get this thing brush hogged way back in like August and the, when it was like 105 degrees, I was coming down here. Even last year I come down here and tried to do it in the hot and the tractor kept overheating and uh, it was like puking out coolant and stuff. I couldn't figure out what the problem was. So I tested for uh, head gasket leaks. Everything checked out fine. I changed the thermostat. I changed the coolant, flushed the radiator out, still having problems. And what it seemed to be the problem was that air filter screen that goes on the front of the radiator the whole time. Um, it was just, it was ripped and it was causing dirt and debris and all that dust to get up in them radiator fins and it was just making it overheat. But luckily I got a new one, put that on there and come down here and brush hogged and didn't overheat one time, but it was, I got down here that morning, it was like 55 degrees, so that could have been part of it. But anyways, uh, yeah, so no treasures in the well, but now at least we know there's no 
uh, weapons or nothing weird down in there. But uh, once we pump it out, we might find something in there. There might be bones. There might be something in there that's not magnetic. You just never know. Maybe there's a, a whole case of gold. You never know. So let's come over here to uh, look at this old rock chimney. And I just had a pretty good scare. Look at this. I don't know if you guys can even... Ah! There was a squirrel sitting there staring at me. He must have a nest up in there. Oh, yeah, he ran right out the top, so it must not be clogged up. I told you guys, the squirrels are busy. They know something's coming. Okay, so we didn't find no treasure, but it was still fun. The suspense of not knowing what's down in there. And uh, like I said, we still don't know exactly what's down in there. There still could be something down in there. But uh, if it is, it ain't magnetic more than likely. And I just seen a little squirrel. So my dad come down here earlier this spring. And there were some places up where the squirrels and stuff was trying to get in. And he put some concrete and some foam and stuff in there. And we got the squirrels out. And they haven't been back. But I can see they're upset with this because uh, this wasn't here the other day. And uh, this is a metal door handle. And I can see some little teeth marks on there. So uh, they must not be happy with this. <laughs> you just got to deal with the wildlife down here because we're not down here all the time and uh, like I said the snake the intruder that was on the dock in the boat the other day uh, that was a surprise now one thing I do see every once in a while let me turn the camera around every once in a while when we come down here the river otters will be down here and they'll pop their heads up and they're so big they look like seals I mean these are the biggest river otters I've ever seen Usually you gotta be really quiet and sneaky cause they're like pretty, pretty aware. But anyways, rock building's still holding up. The roof's still holding up. Got some more cleanup to do. Got some trees and stuff over here. I need to start cleaning up. I need to bring the pole saw down here. And now that the weather is finally cooling off, we should be able to do that. Just gotta make time. Uh, still work full time. The kids are back in school. Caleb's playing football, so that keeps us busy. He has like two games a week, pretty much. And then running back and forth for practice and all that type of stuff. But uh, we'll make do. And I wanna thank you guys for following along and being subscribed to the channel. And if you're not, please consider subscribing. Thank you guys so much for clicking on today's video. And uh, leave us a comment. Did you think I'd find anything in the well? And do you think if we drain it, think we'll find any bones just never know so guys we love you thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time